And here you go. The Manor's Memories. Let's see what our options are. Okay. Okay. My dear John, can you please get that clock fixed when you have time? I have asked you a thousand times. I know you didn't like my father, but this clock means a lot to me and my family. I have taken your tools out of the garage and left them in the cupboard near the door. Also, be gentle with Simon. He is still shaken up from our last fight. He's a good kid, and all I ask of you is to be to be a good role model. You're even failing at that, you fucking little bitch. Fucking little bitch. Bitch-ass motherfucker. Maria. Goddamn, Maria. Goddamn, Maria. This clock is fucked. But she probably already knew that. All right, let's fucking put this shit back together find how to open one of the doors we fucking fixed it look at that just instantaneous fucking handyman mcgee here handyman mcgee door lock use that key we just got okay maybe it works on this one i got lantern oil oh my god what a nice home what a very nice evening someone let the candle just burn straight on the table there's the key my mother and i have been writing a song for me and my father to play on the piano for his birthday it was an it was her idea. However, I don't see why we're even bothering to try. She wants me to show him how well I've done teaching myself to play, but he has never bothered to teach him, teach me himself or even given me the time of day to listen to my other songs over it. I know she hates him. All they do is argue, and he's always angry and never looks at me. He's such a hateful man. I don't know why my mother is trying to appease him. I hate him. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas in John Maria's home. John, can you please talk to Simon? He wrote you a song to play together, and you haven't shown him an ounce of affection. He was distraught and ripped up the song sheet. I've left it on your desk in the study, and I tried my best to repair it, so can you please read it and try to learn that song for him? Maria. Well, it looks like John is doing what every other dad would do and play Call of Duty till 2 a.m. Time to go to the study to get some sheet music. What a long-ass fucking haul. And there's a bitch right in front of me. Hey, hey, you trying to harmonize? Hello? John and I get into a got into another fight again, and I wrote it down in my journal, and I just left it around. Uh, and, and he managed to break my family's grandfather clock. I was trying to get through to him, but he's always in my office, basking on his glory days and never paying me or his son any attention. I mostly feel for Simon. I wanted him to know what it felt like to have an, a father figure in his life, which is the only thing I can't give to him. It has all gone downhill since we moved to this new house. I never wanted to move here. It was his idea. The seclusion from everyone is nauseating. Easy enough for a person to go mad. I bet he won't even notice if we packed up our things and left tomorrow. Well, I mean, you left these notes. I saw my father today enter the library. He never saw, saw me, which is the norm with him. I watched from the doorway of the library as he opened up some passage that I have never been, seen before behind one of the bookcases. I had no idea where it led, so I waited for a while outside of the library to see if he would rear his face again, but he never did. Instead, I saw him come out of the come out of his fucking office. This passage must connect to the library and uh, convenience more lies. I may never know. Find the secret passage in the library. Is this the library? This isn't happening. This can't be real. I have to be dreaming that this world isn't as cruel to have taken him away from me. He'll be home soon. He has to be. I don't know what I'll do if he isn't. It's too heavy. He'll need something to move it. Like some musclase? Let's go find some musclase. Oh, honey. Did another bitch just walk through? Hey, hey, you got some food? Hey, you got that checks mixed bag, motherfucker? Get your bitch ass over here. Oh, no, not that checks. Not that checks. Oh, my God. Oh my, oh my, oh run, run, run you fucking bitch. Oh my god. Oh, go, fucking go. You better fucking book this shit. Use your fucking legs, John. Use your fucking legs. Fucking, oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yo. I did not mean to cause you any offense, but I swear to God, those boring chips that you get just don't compare to the Chex Mix. Okay. Okay. Yo, you don't have to fucking do that to me every fucking time, all right? You don't. You don't have to do that. You don't have to. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please. Please. Please don't get me. Ah! Ah! Oh shit. Fucking bitch. You fucking roaring. Fucking little bitch. Here we are. These have been the worst days of my life. The powers above must be punishing me for something, but what I don't know. I'm a terrible mother mother and a terrible wife, and, and if I were even half as good as I would never let this happen. Why can't I just do something right for right for once? Why must I f always fail? Well, I don't know, but there's a fucking ghost that's hungry, yo. Maybe you should have fed it. Every day I still find myself shitting in disbelief. Every day I walk these halls, which now feel so empty and quiet, now so foreign with everything that I once found so familiar, bring back so many depressing memories. Every day I wish for it to be my last. Well, goddamn. Fuck, shit. I didn't know shit was that serious. Fuck. Damn, dude. It's a crowbar. Why me? Why must it be me that go through this? Why can't someone else for once go through all this pain? You know, just fucking offload on someone else. I have been through enough in, in this world. Why punish me every single day for just existing and trying to live my life? I would let anyone, everyone on this horrid planet die if I were just able to see him again. Now that's a mother's love for a child. 
You don't want me. Oh my god, she's close. Oh shit. Oh shit. My fucking clenched ass cheeks right now. Oh, she's not that far. Yo, fuck off, bitch. Yo, I'm just trying to fucking... Just trying to play some music, yo. Who the fuck's ringing my doorbell? Oh my god, she's fucking... On. My. Dick. She's. On it. Hold up, Holmes. I'm just trying to check out a book. Secret passage found. There we go. Nice. Back to my Ouija board. The hunt for answers. The death of Simon Fletcher has been confirmed today by Maplewood Infirmary. After the believed accidental circumstances sur surrounding his death, on Tuesday 5th of April, John Fletcher and his son Simon were out hunting in the Howery Wood near their family home when the worst happened. John has been quoted in saying in short he accidentally killed his son after the gun misfired. Further investigation on the gun confirms that this statement clearing John of the murder, we all here wish the best for the Fletcher family during this tough time and that Simon has a restful sleep. You fucking piece of shit, Dad. I know what I must do. It was him, the swine that killed him, our son, our beautiful boy. Every day I blame myself up for the fact of his death when it was him who was truly responsible all along. I never want him to find peace. I want him to live the rest of eternity remembering what he did. And will I torment him like he has done to me for too long? I'm going to kill him. Dear John Fletcher, My name is Sebastian Phillips. I run Maplewood School for Gifted Children. It's all your son Simon playing the piano in church for on the, for the fundraiser the other day. I unfortunately never saw you in attendance as I wished to propose the idea of your son attending our school as I see a great potential in him. We have the best facilities and teachers in all of England and a massive bond band music background with students who have finished their studies with us playing number one chair at massive events around the world. I see the same potential in your son. Also, I understand you were a fine pianist in your day as well and would love for you to play in front of our students, welcoming them back to a new school year and hopefully your son in attendance as well. <coughs> Bitch. Bitch, this is not your fucking place. This is my fucking safe place. This is my fucking safe place. My safe space. Motherfucker. I won't have to come all... I swear to God, if I have to come all the way back, I'm just fucking done with this game. Because that's just fucking, like, re... Like, no one likes backtracking. Alright? Not my ADHD brain. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still pretty interesting so far. Like, it's a fleshed out story. But, fate does not favor the Fletchers. The bodies of John and Maria Fletcher have been found last night by Sebastian Phillips. Head of, the bodies were found at 9... Around 7.30, and the police were opening an investigation. And Yeah, 7.30. And their deaths, quoting, The deaths of Mr. and Mrs. Fletcher is the most tragic one, even though I did not, not did not know them personally. They are part of our community and are a great loss. He then continued more regarding their deaths. The evidence points towards a possible murder-suicide on behalf of Mrs. Fletcher, possibly lashing out after Mr. Fletcher accidentally killed their son a while back. However, we will keep everyone updated on the situation as it progresses. The horror of their death saddens the town greatly and wishes them a peaceful sleep, but also adds to the mystery of the house that has taken so many before them haunted or coincidence we may never know the end oh well no backtracking then pretty decent pretty decent I like there was some tension but overall like it you know it needs some work we're coming back to you with tunes at the 93.7 The Jams.